welcome to my channel. So today we're doing my November finished pages. Um, it's currently the 4th of December, so I'm a bit late. Sorry about that. The last couple of weeks have been super, super busy for me. I don't even know how, but I, I've not had much time to film or colour or diamond paint. Ah, oh, it's been a nightmare. So yeah, it is a bit of a smaller um, finished pages this month. And I've only completed one diamond painting. As usual, I will show the diamond painting at the end. There's a little hint there, while he is though. Uh, I'll show the diamond painting at the end because I know not everybody's interested in that. Uh, but yeah, let's get started because it's going to be a bit of a shorter one, as I say. But um, before I do start with the actual things, I will just mention, I'd hoped to have this in my finished pages for this month. Uh, it's my cutesy Christmas special. I'm currently doing a advent calendar colour along for that. Um, so if you've not seen that, check it out, and uh, yeah, as I say, I can't show it because I haven't actually finished it, and I wouldn't want to spoil it anyway because it is a colour along. So yeah, if you've not seen that advent calendar colour along, do pop along. It does, you know, it's, we can do it as a buddy colour, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just all in the spirit of Christmas, a bit of Christmas colouring. So, let's get started. Right then, so the first one that I completed was actually a leftover from the Halloween season. Uh, it wasn't a whip or anything, I was just, by you know, December, uh, December, October 31st was Halloween and then suddenly November was supposed to be Christmas and like November the 1st, I wasn't ready to go straight into um, Christmas. I hadn't finished with Halloween, so I did one more for Halloween. Uh, I did this one, so this is from the book Halloween, as you can see, it's by Colour Questopia, it's one of their mosaic ones if you've not seen it, uh, but yeah, um, I did this in their colour palette, I think for the most part, and the gel pen, I did the same as what I did with one of the other pictures, which is I do two, if you're not familiar, I'll show you one of these other pages that's not done, and the way it works, it's mosaics, but you have these lines that separate it, so I've coloured in the in-between lines of the house, I've done all in black glitter gel pen and then so I have that as the feature and then I had the uh, orange for the tree roots and the ground um, and that's also a glitter gel pen. So it just gives it a little bit of sparkle, not a lot because it's only the fine line um, and yeah it's that two-tone and the colour palette, I'm not sure about the colour palette to be honest, uh, it's a bit bit eclectic with the purple and the reds and the darker reds and the blues so I'm not sure uh, but yeah that was one I did for Halloween because I wasn't ready to leave Halloween just because it was the change of date and then another easy one that I did um, we've done this you've you've seen this book before it's usually in every month I, I enjoy this book this is a book that I do because it's a no thinky book uh, you're supposed to do them in one color I never do um, but yeah, I wanted to break. I have been doing a few Christmas pictures, but I'm not a person. Usually my Christmas starts in December. So November, I was still kind of, I did a bit of Christmas, but I also did some normal pages as well. So this one, I just, we got this nice rose with the butterflies. As I say, most of the time, well, not most of the time, the book suggests doing it in one color. Um, I never do. I always do at least two colours, or in this case I did three colours, because we've got the rose, the butterflies and the leaves. So yeah, nice straight, simple forward, simple forward, straight forward and simple, or simple and straightforward. I'm wibbling. Okay, on to the next. Okay, um, I'm doing all my non-Christmassy ones at the moment, so we'll do this one as well. So this is a Sun Life drawing book inverted mandalas so I, I really like this book i usually do one from this every month uh, i like it because of the black backgrounds and this is the book that got me into mandalas so this is all in glitter gel pen i'm not sure how well you can see it the light today is dreadful it's overcast they say it might even snow but we'll see but yeah so nice straight straightforward I, I guess that's kind of christmasy because i've done that in the red gold green so i obviously felt even though i wasn't christmasy I was Christmassy, if that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, I have completed that one. And what else have we got? All right, so next one I have here is from 50 Nighttime Mandalas by Camellia Angelkova. Another one of my favorite uh, mandala books. Again, it's got the black background. So this was done as part of the, uh, what was the hashtag? Buddy Color Athon, I think. It was a co-hosted 
body color basically on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, but this was the one from the first week one with uh, Danny Buttons. I'll link her channel below, but she gave us a color palette and uh, the theme was, I think it was, yeah, Camellia's books. I think it was Camellia's books, not just Mandala's. Yeah, Camellia's books. Uh, but yeah, so she chose a color palette and it was like a sort of candy type one. It was all like bright, bright colorful ones. So this is the one I did for that, which I really, again, I've done that in glitter gel pen. It's funny, she made a comment um, when I posted this on Instagram. Uh, if you've not seen me on Instagram, I, there's a link down in the description of where I am there. Um, do come and visit. But I posted this on Instagram and she made a comment about how different this looked, even though it was all the same colors for this palette, just having that black background, it just, it changes the vibe completely on a picture. And that's why I like black backgrounds. So yeah, that's that one. Super blingy again. Love it. And I love Camellia's books. I'm slowly, ever so slowly starting to build, uh, collect her books. Even though her books are super cheap, I just, I don't know. Every time, it, I was saying, every time I have, buy some books from Amazon, and she's always in the basket and then I look at how much I've spent and I was like somehow for some reason because hers is the cheapest I'm like oh I'll get that for next time and yeah so she always gets cold right so starting with uh, this one as well that I've just added to, to my collection if you've not seen the Christmas colouring book haul I will put a link up there um, but yeah and also in the description below everything that I ever um, mention on my channels uh, I always put links below if I can so this was a buddy color along with lovely Janny Yanny I'm, I'm sorry I don't know how to say your name occurred to me just now when I was gonna say it in Europe some countries the J in the UK we say our J's are hard like in June and jacket and Jack um, but in some European countries there's it's a soft J so it'd be like uh, I can't think of anything <laughs> Obviously, it's not spelled this way, but like yak, it, it, the y, it's a y. So anyway, I digress. Yar Coloring is the channel name, so I will link her channel below. She's lovely. Check her out. You must, if you're not, not familiar with her channel already, do check her out. So this is the page we did together. It's funny. A lot of, as per usual, we didn't pick a palette or anything. We just chose a page. And uh, but when you look at hers, you will see that there are some real similar elements to it. So this one I've done because I was short of time. I didn't do much shading on it. It's all done for the most part in alcohol marker. I have used gold uh, gold gel pen, metallic gel pen on the lamp and on the flames. Uh, I've used I did whilst these look sparkly. I'll show you. I use Mod Podge. I don't know if you can see it uh, picking up in the light but the snow and also the baubles I've used glitter Mod Podge I just used this um, sparkle Mod Podge I've got this this is like in the samplers pack I, I pull this out every now and again this is my a sampler pack of uh, Mod Podge which just has the sparkle and the gloss and then the matte it's really handy if you've never tried Mod Podge at all I recommend this pack um, it's very good for trying out anyway the glitter Mod Podge is fantastic and so I've got glittered Mod Podge on the snow it's nice and shiny we've got it on the baubles and then I've just put it on the snowy uh, the furry furry hat and the trim of the uh, cushion um, all that was done in alcohol marker it, Except for this blue pink thing, I actually used that in pencils because I didn't have any pastel markers. Uh, so I bust out these, uh, my Marcos. These are the pastels. Now these are the pastel colors. Not They're not pastel as in chalk pastel. They're regular pencils, uh, but in all pastel colors. Um, if you've not seen that, I've done a swatch into that. I, I got them from AliExpress. They're really nice. I don't ha haven't used them anywhere near as much as I wanted to. But it was perfect for this because I wanted, I didn't want the snow to be white, so I've got a really pale blue. But I also wanted this, the speckles was obviously meant to be the shadows. Um, so I did that in a sort of a lavender colour. And then I've just put blended it all together with a little bit of a creamy pencil. And yeah, I really like how that turned out. And it's sparkly. 
Gotta love the sparkles. Sparkles rule. Anyway, thank you for that uh, buddy colour. It was great fun. Uh, I can't wait to do more in this book. I just need the time. Time is my enemy at the moment. On to another book that I got in my Christmas haul. I'm happy to say I bought four books in that uh, mini haul. And I, I, that is one thing I did want to do. I wanted to make sure I coloured at least one page in every uh, of those books for that month. Uh, even though it's only November. So I'm ahead of myself because... Usually it's December that I do my Christmas stuff, so I'm very happy. So I've done one page from, so this Christmas Fantasy, another one by Colour Quest Opia. This is the ones with the black background that they've just started to, be, to do, um, which I quite like in a way, but in another way, I, I actually find I, in, I missed colouring in the lines. Um, I find that quite therapeutic, to be honest. So I'm not sure if I'll buy another black background or not. So this one, is in their new style where they've got the 50 colors in their palette not all the colors are used in here but they every page they list the 50 colors which is a bit of um intimidating uh, honestly if i had a if i had a criticism of color questopia it's their palette one it's i would prefer them to pick out just the colors that appears in the picture as opposed to listing the 50 colors every time honestly i i don't want to criticize overly but to me it, by just printing those 50 things it just feels a bit lazy like you know pick out the colors tell me what colors i need for this picture just don't yeah anyway but the other thing and this is something with um crafting with Christ, christy mentioned it the other day in her finished pages video um about the problems with the color palette and the example and i had it in this one was with the oranges. So they have a bright orange, a light orange, a medium orange, an orange, and a dark orange. Like, seriously? Five oranges. Who has that? And if you do have that, who wants to do that for like a colour by number? Like, when I do a colour by number, I want it to be relaxing. And honestly, I, I, I'm not going to say I get stressed about it, but I'm like, I, everything is I'm di or constant I feel like I'm constantly digging through all my colors trying to fit and what is bright orange what's the difference uh, they give you a little example here and so many of these colors are similar they're so close dark yellow and bright orange to me look virtually identical and if they look virtually identical then what is the point especially in a color by number because you have these lines separating them and so you're not even getting that direct contrast so yeah sorry i've <laughs> i've gone on to a complete rabbit trail there to the picture so my my christmas unicorn which i love um i did stuff him up a little bit because this is supposed to be beige and the color i picked it just came out darker than i thought it was going to be um so he's a bit of a, a bit more biscuit than planned uh but yeah so apart from that that is all the palette the only other thing i did on him um the unicorn the actual horn of the unicorn was meant to be i think dark orange so i've done that in um in one of those pentel hybrid pens glitter pens and it's like or it's orange in one light and then if you tilt it i don't know if you can see this color shift because of the poor light but um it's orange in one light and then you shift it and it's golden so that's the only thing i did for that but yeah, it was quite simple. It's a it's a busy old page. There's a lot going on. Now that's something I like in the Colour Quest books. I like that they're ambitious with their pictures. Busy, you know, busy colour by numbers. I like that. So that's the only one I've done from this book. I plan to do more though. Uh, hopefully without the rant about colour palettes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, next one. Another Camellia Angekova book another one from my christmas book haul so the one i've only done had time for one in here which breaks my heart because there's so many lovely images in here uh, but just yeah so this is the one i've completed this is from sorry so this is a 50 snowflakes to color again it's it's obviously a christmasy wintry feels but i can do this you know anytime any time throughout the year but if i want to do christmas i'll, I'll do them probably as christmas themed because they're snowflakes um or wintry themed but yeah so this one i've kept really cool i've got 
blue I've got a silver glitter pen and then I thought well I wanted parts of it to be white because it's a snowflake so that's why I kept that mi middle and then I've done the background black and I really love how this turned out I, oh I love it absolutely love it it's such a simple palette black blue and silver and uh, I just it's so striking really enjoyed that look forward to doing lots more in this book because there's some fab I've done a flip through of this one um, I've probably run out of things to put up in the eye um, I'll leave a link down below if you want to see the flip through or just check out my playlist of um, flip throughs if you're interested in that one so yeah 50 snowflakes to color by Camellia and Jacoba. And then last but not least, I've done one in this, another one from my book haul. So this was Johanna's Christmas. Um, and the one I've done, I've actually done the opening pages. I'm a sucker for opening pages and also um, not done it yet, but I love doing nameplate pages as well. But I've done this in my Pentel, mostly Pentel. I'll get, just get it out, sorry, this is my pencil case. Um, I've used the... Pen, no, the yeah, the Pentel Dual Metallic Hybrids, not that one. That's the oh no, that so that's the green and metallic blue. This is one of my favourites. That's so that's the, like the really dark blue there, and then I used um, a green, a gold, and then I used the colour shifting one, which was a green and yellow, and then I used a regular. Uh, I also used the where is it? Well, there's, there's the green yellow, but there's, um, oh yeah, and then I also used this Uniball Signo for the green. Um, it's very simple, I like the outline, but the bit I really like, and I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, is the wording, because we've got all the small letters there, and it's just so pretty, the colours are lovely, um, and they're shiny, and oh, just makes me so happy, glitter pens make me happy. So yeah, that is the only page I've done in that one. And that is the end of my completed colouring book pages. Um, so yeah, if you want to see, check out the diamond, pa the diamond painting, then stick around. If not, see ya. Uh, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up before you leave, though, if you've enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. And on to the diamond painting. Right, so my one and only diamond painting that I've completed this month um, is this one. I, uh, I love him. <laughs> He's just so cute. Uh, as I said, when I did this, in, got this in a haul back, oh, I think this was back in August or September maybe. Uh, it's a fan sales haul. I'll link that up in the corner. But um, my other half, he is a huge Minions fan. So I basically did this for him and he loved it. So... I think I'll probably trim it and uh, might even, well, I'll probably put it on a bit of poster board or something like that. I, it's not something that's going to go up on the wall. But yeah, it's definitely something that took, um, you know, has a bit more interest than normal. So it, it would amuse him. So it will probably prop it up on a shelf somewhere or in a corner. I don't know. But yeah, so this, as I say, is a diamond painting that I got from Fan Cells. Uh, it's a 30 by 40, though that is the canvas size, not the diamond painting size. So it's a bit smaller obviously it's a little minion um i had no problems with this it was it, it was quite a nice canvas i mean obviously um there's quite a lot of this white or it's actually i think it might be a little bit off-white um so there was a little bit i don't like multi-placers so most of it every now and again i think oh i'll give a multi-placer another guy another go but i just i don't get on with them so um i can see exactly on the canvas where i've used the multi-placer up here and you can just see, tell, you can just tell there's, it's just, no, I don't like it. Anyway, I'm wibbling. It's personal taste. If you like multi-places, then <laughs> more power to you. I'm jealous. But me, I just, I cannot get on with them. So it was all single placed. So yeah, that was a bit of hard work. I tend to do that as I do my colouring books though. I did a bit of white. I did a bit of blue. I did a bit of white. I did a bit of minion, you know, things like that. Uh, but yeah, all the drills were there. All the drills, um nothing stands out in my memory that they was um of poor quality and yeah i've got no popping drills i did this a couple of weeks back and so it's been sitting there ready waiting for the video and uh nothing's popped so all good 
everything was there no short drills in fact plenty of spares and a lot of fun i love him so yeah oh if in case you're wondering about the color by the not the color by number the painting by number that i did uh, if you've not seen the where i started the painting by number i will link that up in the corner um i'd hope to have that in my finished pages as well uh, <laughs> as per usual i was wildly over optimistic about um it it's a 50 by 40 and that is the actual size of the image as well so it's massive and i just i just it's faster to do a, di um, a painting by number i think than a diamond painting but um yeah it was big and it's massive there was lots of bits and i've been loving every minute of this painting by number but I, unfortunately, as I say, the last couple of weeks have been crazy for me and I just haven't had the time to sit down and paint. Well, well, I have, just not as much as I wanted, so it's not finished. So yeah, unfortunately, the painting by numbers will be in the December finished pages because hopefully, even though the run up to Christmas will be, be busy, uh, the actual Christmas time itself is usually I actually get that chance to sit down and relax and I should be able to paint then, hopefully get everything finished I have a lot of whips as well um, from my coloring books that I just didn't have time to uh, finish so yeah whilst this month was a bit on the smaller side next month hopefully should be back to normal ish we'll see um, but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day I hope your planning for Christmas is going well and not chaotic or non-existent as is mine and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching see you again for January no December finish pages which will be at the start of January um, I'm not sure that again I won't have time to film right on the 1st of January and I think because my other half is home over the Christmas and New Year um, their his company shuts down so when he is underfoot unless he goes out he might go out for a long long walk which I think is the only thing open um, at, with the lockdown things still going on um, but yeah if he goes out then I'll have time to film but otherwise it'll have to wait until he goes back to work which will be the Monday but anyway yes I'm wibbling thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day Merry Christmas and see you again soon bye for now Bye.